this is Editor's Take. I'm Sakshi Batra and with me is Gaurav Chaudhary. He's a Deputy Executive Editor of Money Control and we are here to discuss about a global ratings agency Moody's outlook on India which has been lowered. Thanks a lot Gaurav for joining in. But what are the big reasons behind Moody's reducing this outlook to negative now? Well, that is, and the reasons are quite obvious, uh, given the state of the economy, and and this is based on the uh, on 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 the credit rating agencies' uh, briefing that they had from the government. Uh, not exactly a briefing, but they had a, they had they had met the government, and the government had given them uh, some data. Th those data was discussed with the government, and they have come out with this commentary. Uh, this comment, and this is not the first time that uh, credit rating agencies have actually downgraded their outlook towards India. The key point here is that. It talks about the state of the economy. It says that the, the financial sector is is in in some kind of stress, and that is quite obvious. We have seen that happening. Uh, India's GDP growth rate have come down to five yeah. percent, and uh, some well, some reports do suggest that uh, you know in in the July September quarter when the GDP data actually comes out uh, by the end of this month, it could fall below five percent uh, before picking up in the quarter that we're currently in. Uh, that is again these all these reasons have been factored in uh, the uh, and uh, you know there there have also been uh, questions about the nominal gdp growth rate which is uh, which has considerably slowed down yeah. uh, and also some comments have been made about the pace of reforms yeah. uh, all told uh, moody's uh, believe that india's outlook have now become negative from what was stable earlier mm. but it has kept the credit rating the sovereign rating intact which is very important absolutely but i wanted to understand that uh, this comes at the backdrop of when the government has already been introducing a slew of measures to revive the slowing growth in the economy Correct. so why had those things not been considered by moody's yeah those according if you go through the commentary of what moody's have said and mm. they they have factored in all of those uh, but uh, the key question here is on, on the pace of implementation and I think the uh, credit rating agencies which are essentially, uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, they hold the mirror to the government and they also, uh, yeah. it's, their commentary is very significant for overseas investors to find out about uh, which way reforms and the pace of implementation of these reforms are moving uh, in, in the respective countries before they make an investment decisions. Uh, so according to Moody's, Moody's more needs to be done. Yeah. Uh, they have acknowledged the fact that the government has done, uh, but more needs to be done. Right. And, and more needs to be done very quickly. Uh, and that is why they believe that, and also there, there are external conditions that are uh, you know, there are exogenous factors at work, including yeah. the, the, uh, the what's happening in the very wobbly world economy. Yeah. Uh, a big, all told, uh, these are the reasons that Moody's believe that the outlook has turned a little negative, which means a little shaky from what it was earlier. Absolutely. So more needs to be done. Do you think that this will actually put additional pressure on the government to introduce more reform measures, more policy measures and a slew of stimulus measures as well to uh, buck up the economy? Yeah, so the government has come out with a statement responding to what Moody's have yeah. said and uh, 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 the government has said that the fundamentals remain, the macro fundamentals remain very strong. Right. In fact, the government has been very consistent with any kind, uh, with its response to any kind of criticism about the state of the economy and the government's response to dealing with, uh, you know, the economy according to some international commentators and also some domestic commentators, the economy is falling off a cliff. That. Uh, 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 the, uh, this has also that point has been uh, the slowdown point at least on the point of slowdown mood is a but crested point and have reiterated the so same points uh, but the government has been consistent in in responding to this criticism and been saying that the government has have been uh, you know repeatedly coming out with uh, uh, reform measures we have seen one very recently uh, a special fund has been created for the real estate sector sure. uh, in fact in the month of august and september government came out with another, uh, another set of measures which the government believes is aimed at you know, uh, fixing uh, the economy and nursing it back to pink of health. Mm. Uh, uh, the government has cut down taxes, corporate yeah. taxes particularly, and more probably is expected. Uh, so government has said that while the, uh, you know, the reform is an ongoing process uh, and it does not follow a fiscal calendar or anything of that sort, uh, and also the macro fundamentals are extremely strong. All right, but uh, Fitch and SNP still have uh, maintained the outlook at stable for yes. India right now. So that is a bit of a positive. But is there risk that even that can change going forward? Uh, there, that risk is always there. And mm. uh, uh, the key thing to watch out for here is uh, the commentary, the accompanying commentary, which uh, Moody's have come out with a very elaborate commentary on the state of the economy. Mm. Uh, the point here is that at what point does demand pick up, consumption yeah. demand pick up, and that is a point that uh, Moody's have also made. 
that it is important to stimulate consumption, uh, consumption demand in economy because, as we all know, the, the, uh, the strongest edifice of the India growth story and the Indian economy is household spending and it's absolutely critical for household spending to pick up. Uh, there are some signs, some signs, uh, some scattered green shoots, as it were, of investment uh, of spending picking up, uh, but that has to uh, it, it has to broaden and deepen significantly, and those have to show up. Uh, uh, there are there are certain commentators who have said that uh, by the turn of the fourth quarter, that is uh, ja January from January 2020 onwards, we should see some investment uh, consumption spending picking up. Uh, and that is also the point that Moody's is, Moody's is making. Uh, the important point, however, here is that I've said before that all three credit rating agencies have maintained in the sovereign rating at BA2, uh, BAA2, which means that uh, India's credit rating remains, sovereign rating it remains intact. In fact, uh, uh, Moody's have gone on to say that although at currently slower rates, India's growth still remains high by international right. standards. Right. And this is despite weak infrastructure and rigidities in the labor and land market. Uh, that is that is a positive thing. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Dengara, for sharing all those insights. Well, uh, the rating uh, outlook still remains uh, intact, which is BAA2 for India. That is a big positive. But the outlook on India's rating at uh, negative also does raise concerns that whether India's economy is getting entrenched more into the slowdown. The government has come out uh, with a strong statement reacting to this outlook saying that India's fundamental growth uh, uh, remains intact at the moment and the steps that the government is taking should be able to uh, buck up the economy going forward. Thanks a lot for joining us in this edition of Editors Take and do stay logged on to moneycontrol.com for more news and updates. Thanks for watching.